My name's Matt, I've uh, been in the service now for two months. Um, I'm 28 and I live in Bristol. Uh, so before the fire service, um, I worked as a store manager for a telecoms network, so retail. Um, till I was in my mid-twenties, I then decided to move abroad. So I moved to Australia and spent about two years working across different farms. Uh, joining the fire service is something I always wanted to do. Uh, so I always kept tabs on the uh, recruitment updates. Yeah, recruiting whilst I was abroad, I applied for it and came back and lucky enough I got it. I took a couple of years when I was 17 and I did a, a course in public services, um, which is sort of designed to prepare you for the entry exams and uh, just working with people. So I've done a lot of working with the public, uh, sort of conflict management. Um, and when I was working abroad, I got a lot of hands-on with some heavy machinery. The station I'm at at the moment in Bath, uh, we've got lots of different toys. So not just your fire engines, we've also got a animal rescue unit, we've got a rescue boat and we've got a turntable ladder. Um, so literally every day I turn up the station I'm learning something new. In my old job was 9 to 5, um, sort of retail hours, working with the same people, um, you're not really sort of challenging yourself and pushing yourself. Being thrown into a job like this, um, you know, pe you're, you're saving people's lives, uh, you're preventing accidents, so there's a lot more responsibility that comes with it and the training and the teamwork aspects are so important um, and it's great to be able to have so much responsibility. I mean, the whole application process, you know, you, you really need to do put work into it. Um, it's not just a case of sit down and, and writing it within an hour. You, you know, it takes a lot of time. Um, I was lucky enough, obviously, to get through and then went to training school, which lasted for a couple of months. That was probably the biggest challenge for me was, um, you know, it's not just learning how to put out fires, it's the whole science, physics uh, and all the other aspects that we have to comprehend with as well within such a short amount of time. Um, it was really, really challenging, but by far the best thing I've ever done. I'd say, yes, you can, you can do it. Um, you do need to be prepared to put the work in. You need to push yourself to the limits physically and, and mentally. There's gonna be times where, you know, you might think it's it's not possible, but absolutely stick with it. Um, you, most firefighters will tell you it's the best job in the world, and it absolutely is.